Hello, and good morning, and welcome to StarCon. Woo! Thank you so much for coming out, for braving the cold, for driving in, for, for flying across coasts for some of you, I think, to come to our conference. We really appreciate it, and we're so excited to have all of you. So our goal for this conference is really to get all of you excited about learning about technology. So we hope that over the course of these two days and by the end of the conference, you learn something you didn't know before or you meet someone who's working in an area of technology that you didn't know about before. But most importantly, we hope that you leave feeling excited and enthusiastic to keep learning because that's what this conference is about. So yeah. Uh, my name is Arshia and I am one of the organizers for StarCon. Uh, I do a lot of finances and I oversee the committee as a whole and over here are the rest of the the conference organizers and I'm going to pass this around so we can introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Anna. Um, you will know me if you're a speaker at this conference. You have gotten my emails. Um, hello. Um, yes, I organized the speakers portion of this so I ran our CFP. So if you applied, thank you very, very much. I read every single one of your applications and they were all amazing. Um, thank you very much for coming today. Hello, my name is Evie. I am publicity person, the woman behind the tweets and some of the emails. I also am lead incident reporter for our code of conduct and wrote that. So if you have questions about that or find any typos anywhere on our website, probably my fault. So you can come talk to me about any of that. Hi, my name is Erin. I was co-director of logistics. I ordered your breakfast and coffee this morning. And <laughs> hope you're feeling good so far. Hello, um, my name is Shivangi. I'm also co-director of logistics. And I was handling making signs and printing things. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fatima. Um, I organized the lunch, so I hope you enjoyed that today. <laughs> uh, and I was also behind the swag, so I hope you liked that as well. <laughs> so first up, we have our code of conduct. So our code of conduct is our commitment to all of you to making this event a safe and welcoming space for all of you, no matter who you are. Um, we are dedicated to providing an oppression-free Uh, so we're dedicated to, to providing an oppression-free free conference experience for all of you, regardless of your age, religion, gender identity and expression, religion or lack thereof, um, ability and technology choices. And we define oppression as any um, expression, uh, any, any language or any actions that uphold or uh, reinforce any form of systemic social domination. Um, we take the enforcement of this code of conduct very seriously. Uh, there are two trained incident responders uh, at this event, Ev Evie, who just introduced herself, uh, and myself, I am the secondary incident responder. All of this information and more is online at, on our website at starcon.io slash coc. Um, and the website also details how to contact us in case of a code of conduct violation. Um, we've tried really hard to uh, give you multiple ways of reporting these violations. There's an anonymous form that you can fill out online on our website. Um, there is also, uh, there's also Slack. You can message us privately on Slack. Uh, we also have Keybase. If you prefer that, you can message us on Keybase and all of that contact information is on our website at uh, starcon.io slash coc. Um, and two, two other things that we want to mention are that microaggressions are the most common form of code of conduct violations. They're actions that sort of make minorities and underrepresented people feel alone or unsupported in tech. And we want to make it clear that microaggressions are also code of conduct violations and we do welcome reports of them. And secondly, we want to say that uh, oftentimes people who report co code of conduct violations don't want us to take any action against the person, which is also completely okay. We're more than happy to record the event and just note that it happened. So the action that we take is mostly up to the person who reported the violation. So that's it for the code of conduct. Uh, next up, we want to make uh, a statement of territorial acknowledgement. And this is a part of our efforts to be inclusive and respectful of people from all backgrounds. So we acknowledge that we are on the traditional territory of the neutral Anishinawa Anishinaabe and the Haudenosaunee peoples. The University of Waterloo is situated on the Haldimand track and this includes six miles on either side of the Grand River. And we say this because it is important to remember that the land that we are using today um, is stolen and there's a lot of work to do to bring back the rights of native and indigenous people. 
So uh, we like to make the statement before our events. Um, okay, so on to event logistics. If you haven't already looked at your brochures, they will have a lot of this information already. They have information on how to connect to Wi-Fi, uh, where the bathrooms are, where our gender neutral bathrooms are, um, and also a quiet room. So if you ever feel the need to get away from humans and people and noise, uh, we have a room just for that, where like you are required to be silent. So definitely take advantage of that if you can. Um, Right, so there's two more things happening today besides just the talks. The unconference and the board games event. So this is how the unconference works. I'll go over that first. Uh, there's a board that you see, there's two boards that you see here and over here. And over the course of the conference, uh, between talks, over lunch, over the break, if you think of a topic that you would like to talk about with the people at the conference, write it down on one of these handy sticky notes and, and put it up there. Uh, and if you see a talk topic that you already like, uh, mark it with like a tally mark or like a check mark or something, so we know that this is something that people are interested in. And really the goal is to get people talking about topics that they are interested in. So the, at the end of the day, we will look at the topics that we have up and we'll sort of roughly divide you into these informal groups where you talk about the topics that you picked. Um, hopefully that's clear enough, but if you have any more questions about that, just post in Slack, ask us in person, and we'll, we'll answer them. The second thing I want to mention is the board games event. Uh, Shopify has been amazing enough to organize this for us at their Waterloo office, which is uh, just a short drive from here. Uh, it's at 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, there's a link to RSVP in hash announcements in Slack. Uh, you would have also gotten an RSVP link in your email. Um, if you have an RSVP, don't super worry about it, but if you could, that would be great so we have like a good headcount. Um, and that's, that's about it. I really hope you enjoy the talks. We've worked really hard to uh, get all these speakers, speakers over here for you. A lot of them are going to be talking about topics that I'm interested in. Uh, and yeah, ne first up, we're going to have um, our uh, sponsors. Oh, I have to talk about the sponsors. Sorry. So yeah, I want to end by talking about all the people who made this possible. There's so much that goes into paying for a conference that I did not know about until I actually ran a conference myself. There's food, there's recording of the talks, there's paying our speakers, paying for their travel, um, buying swag for all of you, printing these signs, printing brochures, and all of this happened because we spoke to organizations who really saw what we were trying to do and really understood the spirit of this conference. And I, as someone who has been working with sponsors for almost a year for this conference, I'm more than happy to uh, talk about the sponsors who have given us funds for this conference. So we have Stripe, we have Shopify, we have Sortable, which is actually a Kitchener-Waterloo company. Um, and we also have, Mark, we also have uh, Zenreach, Square, and Asana. Uh, most of these sponsors also have boots outside and they have swag that they're giving out. Uh, so definitely speak to these representatives, talk to them about what it's like to work at their company, uh, and yeah, hear what they have to say. And we also have Microsoft, uh, no starch press, add Zerk and funnel cake. Uh, and, and again, we're really excited to be working with them. No starch press is actually a, a tech publication uh, based in San Francisco, I believe. And they gave us books and ebook vouchers to give away at this conference. So check out the books that we have on the tables outside. And at the end of the conference, we will be raffling away uh, the items that they send us to conference attendees. So uh, yeah, that's all I have for now. We're gonna kick off the event by hearing from our amazing sponsors, Sortable and Square. Uh, I'm gonna call Sortable up first. Sam uh, is over here, and she has been absolutely amazing to work with. So I hope you get to speak to her during and after the conference. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sam True. I'm the culture and, uh, um, uh, culture and community uh, champion at Sortable. Super excited to be here. It's Friggin' freezing outside. I think we're in the darkest timeline right now. It's negative 42 outside. Um, the two things that I wanted to bring up is, one, uh, just to re-emphasize, thank you so much to StarCon organizers for having us here. I think, again, it's crazy to think that there is a two-day event that was brought together by students from the University of Waterloo over the course of a couple months who were able to bring together not only the money, but the speakers, the accommodations, the travel. Um, I think that they should deserve like a thousand kudos. I don't think they got the applause that they needed there. So if anything, can we please give them a round of applause? So. Thank you so much, Arsha, Anna, Evie, uh, Aaron, 
Evie, Fatima, and Shivangi. Shivangi, my bad. Okay, cool. So I won't take up too much of your time. Uh, we're sortable. We're based out of downtown Kitchener. We were born and bred here. Uh, we're growing fast, and uh, we are privately funded. If you would like to learn more about our open roles in the development side, on the technical side, uh, a couple of our folks are here attending and listening to the talks. They've all got hoodies on. You can feel free to go uh, chat with them and say, like, hey, what's up? What do you do? Do you like it there? And they will be 100% transparent with you. Um, the one thing that I asked my engineer manager, Andy, uh, to give me was words to tell to you guys. And what he said was, can you please emphasize that regardless of whether you're junior or senior, developers really make a difference at Sortable because their views and ideas are listened to. So there's no ego here and we don't have senior management, senior folks uh, dictating the direction. So if that sounds like you're sort of a workspace, please come and talk to me. Again, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your conference. Hi, I'm Jesse from Square, um, and I work as a programmer in our Kitchener Waterloo office. Um, we're building an app on Android Web and Cloud that uh, is about sending money, but we've got a lot of really big ambitions. We want to make sure that the future of financial technology is very inclusive, and so we're building products that make it so that anybody can send money. You don't need to, even, even people who live paycheck to paycheck or people who, who can't afford a conventional bank account, we're really trying to figure out how to make financial systems for everyone. Um, and we're an office that really believes in development. We, uh, in developing our engineers, we originally tried to hire just a bunch of like really senior people and it turns out that that's impossible. The only way to really sustainably grow a great office is to hire junior people and invest in them and grow them. Um, if you'd like to make sure that the future of financial technology is inclusive, come talk to us at our booth or we're at uh, squareup.com slash jobs. Thank you.